All right, so I'm going to go over the four macromolecules that we have on the table that you should have in your packet. First one, sugars and starches, is carbohydrates. Remember, they're our main source of energy. Next one is fats, oils, and waxes. Those are collectively called lipids. The next one, we've got DNA or RNA. Collectively, those are called nucleic acids. And finally, we have proteins, the building uh, structures of our cell. Now, the elements that make up carbohydrates is C, H, and O. You're going to find the exact same uh, for lipids, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Nucleic acids are a little bit more. It's still CHO, but it also has N and P, nitrogen and phosphorus. And finally, proteins are CHO and N. So all of them have CHO. Nucleic acids also have nitrogen and uh, phosphorus, and proteins only have nitrogen. Now, let's go into what each one does. Carbohydrates, as I mentioned, are the main source of energy, and the phrase that I like you to think about is carb quick, because when you need energy and you need it fast, carbohydrates are the way to go. Lipids, on the other hand, you want energy for later. So they are still there for energy, but later. So carb quick, lipid later. So they are their job is energy storage. Next up, nucleic acids. Those are informational storage. Think of it as kind of like a flash drive. And, you know, a flash drive that you plug in your USB port, it has one job. It's to store information. So I kind of just throw in a flash drive right there. It's probably good, you know, to think about drawing your own one in there. It's a good analogy for DNA. It's there to store information, nothing else. And then finally, we have proteins. Proteins are there for structure and function. Basically, they build and do stuff. By the way, that sound you heard was my cat. Sorry about that. Now the monomers, the single building blocks that build up to make carbohydrates is called the monosaccharide. That literally translates to single sugar molecule. Lipids are the only one that actually don't have a monomer. There is no single thing that builds up to make lipids. Nucleic acids do. It is called the nucleotide. And protein, there is a two-part one. It is called the amino acid. Now, some of the other stuff we got to go into here, monosaccharide, as I mentioned before, stands for single sugar molecule. And remember, mono means one, which means that many sugars would be called a polysaccharide. Some examples of polysaccharides, we've got glycogen, that's glucose stored in animals. We've got starch, that's glucose stored in plants. And finally, we've got cellulose, which is plant fiber. This is the fiber that's in your diet. It's also called nature's broom because it just kind of sweeps and cleans you up. That's why old people also like to eat a lot of cellulose, because it helps them poop better. Sorry for that metaphor there. Now we've got saturated and unsaturated fats. A saturated fat does not have double bonds. It's got straight chains. An unsaturated fat, uh, fat does have double bonds, and those are bent chains. I'll show you more on those in just a second. Okay, so uh, this is the difference between a saturated and unsaturated fat. I will have the link to this if you'd like to play around with it. This is a saturated fat. As you saw, it is a straight chain, and there are no double bonds. If I was to look at this end on, you'll see it's kind of straight like that. Now, if I compare that to an unsaturated fat, they have these double bonds in there, and it causes this whole thing to kind of kink. If I zoom in right there, that double bond makes a huge difference to it. Here's another uh, or, sorry, unsaturated fat. And you can see, again, it's got double bonds there, and that is going to mess with it a little bit, make so that it doesn't stack. And here is finally just uh, another one right here. Again, you can see the double bonds. You'll see how it's got this big bend. Compare that again to our saturated fat where everything is all in a single line. And then we, we go down here. Remember, our monomer for the nucleic acids is the nucleotide. Here's what a nucleotide actually looks like. We'll go into this later. There's three parts to it. We've got a phosphate, a sugar, and a nitrogen base. And you collectively put two of those together, and you start making a molecule of DNA or RNA. And finally, on down to amino acids, there are 20 amino acids that exist in all living things, and that number and order make a huge variety of proteins. Some proteins are enzyme, and they make life possible by making reactions happen fast. So this is that for the table there. Make sure you have that all copied.